Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jogging on Vacant Food Review. Today, we're at Wendy's on this Wednesday afternoon, and we have a maple a maple chicken sandwich, I believe. A maple, it's, it's a it's a chicken sandwich, and it has bacon on it, and it's in a croissant that yes. is glazed in syrup. Yes, I believe the meat is glazed in syrup. Or something's glazed in syrup. That's all we know. I can smell the syrup already. We can smell the very, syrup. This is packaging. Cla oh, nice. Classic wrapper for Ren Wendy's. Mm. This is the sandwich, as you can see. Croissant. Cheese. Um, you got the cheese, you got the chicken, and you got the bacon, of course. Uh, oh, you got the syrup got the on syrup. top you of could, the ba uh, on top of the chicken. You can, you can see the syrup. Yeah, I was incorrect. It is uh, on the bottom of the croissant, not right, so on it, not glazed on top ado, of it. There is some on top, actually. It's seeping through the croissant. Yeah. So, um, without further ado, let's dig right into this delicious-looking sandwich. One more bite. One more bite. Mm -hmm. Last one. Last one. Last one. Alright, folks. So you're wondering syrup on a. So you're probably wondering on a fast food sandwich how this all mixes together on our taste buds. Yeah. Personally speaking, I must say, I did quite enjoy the way this mixed. I feel like Wendy. Sorry. Wendy's usually has good ingredients in their food. And I feel like that's no different here. It's a six dollar sandwich and you know what? I think it is in fact worth that price range. And I think it is a good sandwich that should be on the shelves. So this is because the syrup does mix well with their chicken and their bacon and the croissant is an excellent way to help pull everything together. I feel like the butteriness of the croissant, which it, it's not covered in butter, butter. But you can tell, tell it was already buttered before it was made. That's why it's not very dry. And it's the not... syrup definitely helps moisturize it, which makes it a lot better. The butteriness just makes the croissant... No, it's not us. It just so... makes the croissant, like, pop a little. It makes it so you can taste the croissant, yeah, you know? The croissant... It doesn't fall under everything. The croissant it's is not super flaky, though, you know? It's not like a bakery. It is Wendy's. Um, but for my sandwich, the syrup was kind of embedded inside the croissant so it kind of you know got my hand sticky and it wasn't well that's why we'll say I was going to talk about this the stickiness it's not a bad stickiness no it's not terrible it is a light stickiness they did think about that they did put but, the thought about that in which is a good detail to it I would have liked the syrup to be on right on top of the chicken instead of like more in the croissant and well, I don't know involved with if the bacon. you can see the I can't <coughs> tell if you can see the cross section right there but there's a lot of syrup there, you know. This bite will probably get everything mixing nicely. Yeah, that, I'm gonna take this bite. You know that bite. Mm. That looks like a pretty good bite. The syrup, you know, mixes with the bacon pretty nicely. But the main flavor is the chicken. That's the main part of the sandwich, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it's pretty good chicken. Something we gotta talk about is the taste of the syrup. Yeah. It's not too sweet. Yeah. It's kind of watered down, which I must say does work in the sandwich's favor because the sweetness complements the chicken and does not overpower the sandwich, which is what I don't like about chicken and waffles. Yeah, you don't want the classic sweet, like, waffle syrup. You want this... Nice you know, little watered down, Yeah. you know, easier to manage, your hands don't get as sticky, more delicious 
Zero. Yes. Uh, and then the cheese. I can't taste the cheese too much, but it doesn't detract. But it, it's there. It's you get there. tastes of it. Um, it does. It not doesn't bad. hurt the sandwich, but you know, it's definitely not. It's definitely not stealing the show. So, so time for us to give our ratings. I will give this a solid seven out of ten. CVS is closing down because they're going out of business in our area. I will give this sandwich um, uh, 17 out of 20 old women with weird hats walking into Wendy's. Well, folks, now it's time for one of our newer segments on Domat Sun called Eating with Domat Sun where we will finish our food and have conversation with you. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. <coughs> thank you for saying I look good today. That means a lot. Oh, you want to talk to Jackson now? Okay, have fun. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Oh, okay. They're not talking to me. Maybe you should try talking to the viewer. I don't think they want to talk to me. I think they just want to see me eat my sandwich. Just while, remember this. While they talk to you. <clears throat> well, there you have it, folks. He doesn't like you. I love my fans. He doesn't want to talk to you guys. He just wants to chow down on his sandwich instead of having a conversation with you, the people. If you guys want to have a conversation, <laughs> leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to reply to every comment. But yes. You hear that, folks? He guaranteed to reply personally <clears throat> to every single comment on this video. So make sure to comment as many times as you can. Mm -hmm. And you reply to each and every single one, even if it's utter gibberish. I yes. will reply to every single comment on this video. Well, folks, it has been fun, but yes, it has. We must depart now. Yes, we have been jogging on vacant food review. I've been Jackson. That's been Matt. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Good day.